What's up everybody, that STEM guy here. And today I have an awesome DIY rocket build for you. We are gonna take the concepts we learned when we put together our straw rockets, but instead of using our lungs to power our rocket, we're gonna redesign the launch system so that we use our entire body weight to send our rocket high up into the sky. These are stomp rockets. Let's dive into the build. To build your launcher, you're gonna need the following supplies. One empty two liter bottle, a piece of PVC pipe. Now mine is one inch by two feet long. Scissors, handy dandy duct tape, and tire tube. Now you can get this anywhere. They sell bikes and the length of it actually doesn't matter since we're only gonna be using a little bit. The first step is gonna be to cut a piece of our tire tube. Now we only need about four to eight inches long of this. To do that, you're just gonna take your scissors and make a cut and another cut. Perfect. Next, we're gonna take one end of our tube and fit it around the top of our bottle and secure it in place with duct tape. We're then gonna take the other end and fit it around our PVC pipe and secure that in place with duct tape. To build our rocket, we're gonna need the following supplies. Construction paper, masking tape, scissors, and I like to use index cards. If you don't have any of these handy, it's okay. You can just use construction paper. You also wanna make sure that you have your launcher handy because we're gonna need it to help build our fuselage. To build your rocket, you're going to line your paper up long ways alongside of your PVC pipe. You're then going to roll the pipe so that the paper rolls around it. You don't want to roll your paper too tight because it needs to be able to slide on and off. Once you have your paper rolled around it, put some masking tape on the seam to hold it in place. You want to make sure that you tape the entire seam so that no air can escape. You also want to make sure that you're not taping your paper to your PVC pipe. It's now time to build your nose cone. To do that, take one end of your tube and flatten it out. You're then gonna take each corner of that flattened out area and fold them down towards the middle, like you're making a paper airplane. Once you have those folds in place, use some more masking tape to secure them in place. Again, making sure that no air can escape. It's now time to make our tail fins. To do that, we're gonna take an index card or a piece of construction paper and fold a triangle. Cut off any excess paper that you don't need. You're then gonna fold that triangle in half to make a smaller triangle. When you open it up, you should have a square with a folded cross on it. Take your scissors and cut down one of those folds. You've now created two tail fins for your rocket. To attach the fins to our rocket, we're gonna fold it back into that smaller triangle shape and put a piece of masking tape on the fold. Now you wanna make sure that the tape does not hang over the top or the bottom because it's just gonna make it that much harder to attach. So I'm gonna fold this little piece in just so I don't have any of that excess. Again, half the tape is on the fold, half the tape is hanging off. I'm then gonna attach it to my rocket and fold it over so that I can tape the other side securing it in place. I'm then gonna repeat that same exact process on the other side of my rocket. And then we are ready to launch. Houston, you are clear for takeoff. After your first launch, you probably realize that your bottle's all smushed. To reshape it, you're gonna just use your hands to try to pop it out. If you can't do that, what I recommend doing is taking your PVC pipe and putting it in the middle of the palm of your hand. You're then gonna close a fist around it and blow air in between this little hole between your thumb and index finger. And it should pop out all the smushed parts of your bottle and you'll be ready to launch again. Now, your bottle is not gonna last forever. Eventually, it is gonna form a crack. When it does, you're gonna have to replace it. So just take off the duct tape, put a new bottle on and re-duct tape it and you will be ready to go and launch some more. So Houston, you are now clear for takeoff. Get out there and have some fun. 